Yeah, well, that first three quarters was awesome. Um, you know, at some stages we did let it slip out to five, but we managed to um, bring it back, and I think that's, that was awesome. And especially after what happened last night, we're, we're probably still hurting a lot from that, but to turn that around within, I don't know, it feels like 12 hours um, is pretty cool because we can play some really great netball and we just need to back each other. And for you being at a wing defence and not having that one-on-one -on -one battle with the tall shooter in the circle, uh, can you explain what that was like, trying to stop that supply into the shooter? Um, yeah, well, my job is just to... Well, obviously, when I've got a big target in the back is to try and delay the ball further up the court. And if I can kind of block the vision into Janelle, I'll do anything I can to um, help out Jano and um, Fee in the back. Can you talk to what kept you in the game for those three quarters and then sort of what um, like sort of unraveled a little bit in the final quarter? Um, I, I think we um, really treated our position. Like, we man, some of those phases of play, I felt like we were going 50 passes before we shot a goal. But that's OK. As long as we've got ball in hand, we're in control. Um, and not to panic. Um, they probably got a few like hands in there, you know, they've got long, very long arms and it felt like they were human backpacks. So just being able to um, stand up to that physicality for 60 minutes. A more consistent lineup today with the majority of the seven playing for the match. What was that like for the team out there? Yeah, well, it was good that we were able to settle it and um, the starting seven were able to put out a strong performance for nearly a full game. Um, but yeah, it was great to have that consistency and yeah, I think Mills really stepped up today and um, back tomorrow in that shooting circle. Day off tomorrow and then hopefully a semi-final against England the following day. Uh, what will the focus be over this uh, time? Yeah, well, day off doesn't exist in Silver Ferns world. We'll be training, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, just make sure those little things are, um, tick, tick those boxes and we'll be focused on England. Um, when we do come up against them in a couple of days, they're really clinical, they've played some great netball. Um, they're very much a confidence team, so breaking that confidence early will be crucial.